Welcome to the Forklift Pre-Use Inspection Training in Virtual Reality. Here you'll get hands-on with inspecting and operating a forklift safely. Go at your own pace and make sure you're comfortable with each step. Ready to begin? Glance at your left wrist. Notice that virtual wristwatch? That's your main guide through this training. Just lift your hand, focus on the watch, and a menu will pop up. Give it a shot. Awesome! Your wristwatch menu shows the current task in three handy buttons. Need to hear something again? Hit the repeat button on the left. Go on, test it out. Now spot the highlight button on the right. If you're struggling to find what to inspect, tap this. It'll make things stand out for you. Give it a go. Great job. Here's how to identify inspection elements. When you focus on the right item, a circular icon will show up. Keep your eyes on it. As you do, the circle will fill up. Once it's full, it'll turn into a check mark and vanish. This means you've successfully pinpointed the right element. After that, take all the time you need for a detailed inspection. Notice the Proceed button in the center of your wristwatch screen. After you've found and inspected an element, tap this button. You'll then be asked to assess the condition of the item you've just checked. Let's give it a try. Go ahead and press Proceed. You're on track. A prompt will now ask you to evaluate the item you've inspected. Notice the two icons? A happy face for good and a sad one for poor. Tap your choice, go ahead and rate. Good job. Time to dive into the real inspection tasks. If you ever need a reminder, your wristwatch is there to help. Listen closely for what to keep an eye on. Find the forklift's fork arms. Examine each for any wear, cracks, or bends. Focus on the fork hooks and the carriage plate. The fork arms should be evenly spaced with secure retaining pins. If there's an attachment, make sure it's firmly in place. Also, check for any wear or damage on the locking pins, welded areas, and pivot points. Now focus on the carriage plate. Make sure it's undamaged and aligns well with the mast. Double check that the end stop bolts and fork locking pins are firmly in place and secure. Spot the backrest extension. Ensure it's free from any bends or cracks and that it's securely attached. Inspect the mast. The outer section should be free from damage or distortions. Also, examine the inner channels, ensuring they're in good condition without excessive wear or any obstructions. Check out the mast rollers and slides. Ensure the mast guide rollers, including reach channel rollers, are in good shape without uneven wear or incorrect tracking. The mast slides should be secure and intact. Now focus on the lift chains and pulleys. Look for any signs of wear or damage on the lift chains. The chain anchor points should be undamaged and even. The chain pulleys should be in good condition, and the chain should track correctly. Time for the hydraulic components. Examine all hydraulic rams, seals, and couplings for any damage or leaks. Pay special attention to the piston area. Also, check all visible hydraulic hoses for any signs of damage or leaks. Inspect each wheel. The tires should be in good shape without any missing chunks or tears. Ensure the wheels are locked in properly and the nuts are tight. Let's give the rear wheel a closer look. For a thorough inspection, we'll rotate it to its extreme left. Just gaze at the rear wheel and it'll turn. Carefully check all nuts and bolts ensuring they're tight and in good shape. Once done, rate its condition using your wristwatch. Ready to move on? Hit proceed. 
Now let's turn the wheel to its extreme right. As before, just focus on the rear wheel to rotate it. Examine it closely for any issues or inconsistencies. Step back and assess the overall condition of the machine. Check the overhead guard, battery, engine covers, doors and panels. They should be intact and damage free. Look for any bodywork damage, rust or broken parts. Find the rated capacity plate. It should be firmly attached, easy to read and clearly display the truck's maximum weight limit, load center and top lift height. This info should match the truck and any attachments in use. Open the battery compartment by tugging on the latch beneath the driver's seat and raising the battery lid. Check the battery's overall condition. Look out for any leaks which might indicate battery acid. Make sure cables and connectors are intact and watch for any loose wires, as they can lead to sparks. The cells should be filled with deionized water to the right level. Typically, site engineers handle this task. Inspect the operator's seat. Ensure it's in a good condition, no rips or tears on the fabric. Check the seatbelt's condition. Extend it and latch it into its holster. Make sure it also unhooks smoothly when pressed. Inspect the operator's spot. It should be clear of any debris and the pedals should move freely without any blockages. Kudos on the external check. Before diving into the internal inspection, remember the three-point contact safety rule. Always have two hands firmly gripping and one foot supporting you when getting on or off the forklift. Now find the forklift handle and press the trigger to start the internal check. Find a seat around you, maybe a nearby chair. Settle in as we gear up for the next inspection phase. Once you're comfy, lift your hand to your wristwatch, hit proceed, and let us know how you feel. This syncs the virtual setting. Let's move forward with our inspection. Make sure the gear stick is set to neutral and start the ignition. Time to test the forklift lights. Flip the switches and ensure both front and rear lights are on. Wave your hand in front of them to check. Also, verify the beacon light and a blue spot functionality. Let's test the hydraulic controls. Begin with the lever that raises the forks. Pull it to elevate them fully and hold for about 15-20 seconds. This weight helps spot any slow drops due to hydraulic leaks. A steady hold helps detect any minor changes hinting at issues. The next lever controls the truck's tilt. Push it to tilt forward and pull to tilt backward. The third lever manages the side shift. Push to shift the carriage right and pull to shift it left.
All right, before we get moving, test the horn. Ensure it's loud and clear to alert those around you. Let's test its driving capabilities. First, ensure the gear stick to neutral. It has three settings, forward, neutral, and reverse. Cycle through each to ensure the truck moves smoothly without any juddering. With the ignition on and the truck in gear, place one hand on the steering wheel. Use the accelerator and stop buttons nearby. Good job! Now safely bring the forklift to a halt and start moving in the opposite direction. Well done! Shift to neutral and turn off the ignition. Congratulations on completing the training. Remember, safety is paramount in every task you undertake. Always prioritize it, not just for yourself but for everyone around you. Wishing you all the best in your endeavors. Stay safe and make a positive difference at your workplace.